Who will win the ultimate food fight between corporations and customers? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now, I'm no sucker, but I will get sucked into a commercial if it's telling me to try some new delectable item at a restaurant, fast food or otherwise. I know. I just love shiny new things, especially shiny food. <laughs> mm-hmm. The thing is, restaurant ads, they do a really good job of making their new thing look all shiny, don't yeah. they? Especially for you. But I do not eat the ads. I eat the thing. That's smart and probably better for you. It's time for Customer Gripe versus Restaurant Hype. Part one. All right, we're gonna try some new menu items from Popeyes, Pizza Hut, and Arbus. Mm. Good old Arbus today to see how they stack up to the hype of their campaign ads. Or their ad campaigns. Because Camp campaign ads is a political. It seems like they're running for something. It's a political. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ad campaigns. Yeah, that's right. Hold on, is Arby's running for president? Because I'm voting. <laughs> I'll write them in. Okay, we're also gonna be taking into account some scathing reviews from real people who've tasted it in order to see who is closer to the truth. It's more of a balanced the perspective. Ad or the bad review. I'm just hungry, let's do it. Up first, we've got Popeye's Buffalo Ranch Chicken Sandwich released in May, available for a limited time. Let's start by taking a look at the commercial. Okay. Popeye's new Buffalo Ranch Chicken Sandwich has hit her sauce things up. The okay. internet's favorite chicken sandwich now comes with a zesty buffalo and creamy ranch sauce. Spread on our brioche buns with crunchy pickles and juicy chicken oh, breasts. Sauce. Try today. Love that chicken from Popeye's. The, the announcer sounded like he's got some buffalo ranch sauce yeah, caught in the back of his throat. He's had a lot of buffalo. Now, Ugh. does the regular sandwich have sauce on the top and the bottom of the chicken? I think that's the only difference. Yeah, that's the difference. only difference, because those those pickles, which according to the press release, oh, which we, got, we have access to. We get that. Uh, like Popeye's traditional chicken sandwich, is served on a buttery brioche bun with barrel cured pickles. Oh. So we've had that before. The only thing that's new is the new sauce with creamy buttermilk ranch and a zesty and buttery buffalo sauce. They call it another culinary masterpiece. It it's looks, just mix and ranch with buffalo sauce. But, I mean, it's a, it's a great sandwich. You can only improve just oh, a little bit Oh, I know more. I'm gonna like it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. But we're not gonna move our slider until we taste it, but we're not gonna move our slider until we hear a review. So let's go to Yelp, up in New Jersey, Inquiring M. Oh, that probably is a mind. Today I tried the Buffalo Ranch sandwich just because it's new. Yeah, I that's understand. A, that's a good enough reason. Gotta live only at once. And as expected, it was weak AF. Okay, so well, well, as expected? You can't bring negative e expectations into your it's, fast food experience. Why are you expecting it was weak AF? I do like their spicy and original chicken sandwich. Okay. Then why were you expecting it to be weak AF? Yeah, what's wrong with inquiring M? You're, under, you're, you're undermining yourself. This new contender is not something I'd get again. Okay. It had a nice spicy taste, but as I butt into it, Probably. But the lingering ranch. Oh, that's the problem. You try to eat it with his butt. <laughs> but the lingering ranch remnants it left was a horrible aftertaste, in my opinion. Lingering ranch remnants? That sounds positive. I was able to power through since the sandwich was fresh and the pickles made a nice performance with their crunch and bitterness. Okay, getting a little too wordy here. <laughs> Thank God. And he's getting, bringing God into it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to make it religious, dude. But overall, not a sandwich I'd recommend. Yeah, you said that earlier. Toning against this location. I think but no, I think maybe probably nothing. Unless he's like working out there also. He's nothing. toning. He's toning at this location. <laughs> boop. I tone regularly at this location. I show up here and a boop. Is that what he means? I just mean he's getting toned. Oh, nothing against this location, but rather the dudes at Corp got it wrong when they approved this idea. The dudes Ouch. at Corp. Well, they gotta be dudes, huh? All right, so we'll be the, I, th this guy, I'm not believing him too much. Now this doesn't look as good as the ad, but that's not what we're, that's another thing we do. But the sauce is much more buffalo-y in person. Yeah, look at how look at how bright that is. Good golly. It looks like gravy. No, that's crazy. It's like it looks like red sauce in the commercial it looked like a slightly pink branch situation. It looks like marinara. To be honest with you, I wouldn't know I was eating a different sandwich. It, unless you're eating it side by side. It's not as spicy as the spicy, but they're not marketing it that way. It's not spicy. I would say from a spice standpoint, it's kind of weak AF. It's not, and I will say, it's definitely not an improvement over the normal spicy. So you think this is different chicken than the spicy? You think this is the regular 
This is the regular sandwich chicken with the sauce added instead of the spicy chicken which has spicy built into it. And it has sauce on it too, yes. It has a much better sauce. After tasting it, I would say, I don't agree with this guy. I don't like the review. I don't like the way he brought God into it and the fact that he's getting toned. But, yeah, but. I, he does have a little bit of a point. But, I mean, we, here, in the center is actually a little bit weighted towards the ad, just using you know proportions here. But I am in enough agreement with the review uh, from that boy to move it down a little bit. Not all the way. I just don't think there's, they're trying to squeeze every ounce of you know, popularity out of this super popular sandwich and they haven't done it. And I agree with this guy completely except for his uh, grammatical errors. Okay. Yeah. But his assertion is- I mean, toning against that guy, but- It's not spicy, so it is kind of weak, AF. And it's, it's not better than, than the other one. Either get original or get spicy, but don't mess with this. I have to agree with that. It's a disappointment. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. I'm sorry for being sorry, Art. All right, now we got Pizza Hut Spicy Lover's Pizza, which debuted back in January. Spicy Lover's Pizza, did you hear of it? When you said it, right? I now. did not hear of it back in January, but Spicy Lover's Pizza is not um, for spicy lovers. Oh, lovers who it's, are spicy? Right, it's oh. for people who just love spice. That makes more sense. But they could be spicy lovers. Because I was thinking about like- As a, I am. An S&M kind of thing. It could be that. Yeah. It could co it could come with a whip and a chain. Right. But it doesn't. It's not about that. Well, maybe it does. Let's watch a commercial. Mm, new spicy lovers pizza from Pizza Hut hurts so good <laughs> with its <laughs> spicy marinara ah! and sliced <laughs> red chilies. It's like a roundhouse kick to the taste buds. How's it looking? Don't be bashful with the fiery flakes now. I want it to be real spicy. I haven't started yet. Okay. I'm ready. The new spicy lovers pizza. Get it while it's hot. You want respect? Red chilies get you respect. No one out pizzas the hut. <laughs> so, Craig, uh, friend of the show, friend Craig show, Robinson, yes. got a spicy lover's pizza tattoo. Getting that pizza hut money. I'm sure that's real. I'm sure that tattoo yeah, 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 is yeah, yeah, real yeah. because he believes in the spiciness. He said roundhouse kick to the taste buds. That's quite that, That's quite an expectation that's set there, Craig. I believe he said it, it hurts so good. Yeah, he did say that. That comes up, spicy marinara. Um, if I'm looking at the press release, and I am, yeah, right. it says that it's perfectly balanced and flavorful layers of spicy ingredients, okay. including the new spicy marinara. It's game changing with a touch of heat and sweetness. A ah, touch of heat. Okay. Each layer of heat is balanced with full zesty flavor. The carefully crafted combination performs an intricate dance on pizza lovers' taste buds. What? and brings the spice of life. We also desperately need. Wait, wait. Resulting Hold in a, back a little bit. Resulting in a masterpiece of piquant, piquant? That's a word. Pipe, piquant? That's a word? Piquant. Piquant? Piquant. 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 That offers a craveable bold taste, not burn. You're, you're talking over my head, Hut. Yeah, I'll tell you right now. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't think Pizza Hut was gonna get too I mean, complicated for our taste. I feel they dumb. Pequant. Just trying to process the ad. Is it a masterpiece of Pequant? I don't know, man. Okay, I'm not, I'm not feeling great about this. Now we don't have a Yelp review. We've gone all the way to an actual food blog review from the one person food blog brand eating. Okay, not a placeholder title. Um, Shout this out is to interesting. Brand eating. Most of this review centers around the fact that he interpreted it as sour. So he's like, strong spicy vinegary smell that's generally not what I want a pizza to smell like. Seem to be the sliced red chili peppers, but oh, actually, they're actually just red jalapeno peppers that have been pickled and they're sour as a result. Uh, he says, I felt like I was tasting less in terms of smoky, savory, and salty due to the strong, sour bite of the peppers. Less like a pizza and more like a spicy, sour fried breadstick. Okay. So that's the expectation that has been set by the food blog. Yeah, that's Here's not the how they market it. itself. So you see, you got the jalapenos, you got the spicy red pepper. Does it smell sour? Doesn't strike me as that sour. Doesn't smell sour to me. Now see, I would make this choice. I love a pepperoni pizza. I love to get jalapenos on there. I'm gonna I'm eat one of these. I like to go hard with the red pepper. Now these are hot. 
I feel like I got but is a this, roundhouse to the teeth. Is man. this pickled? Because it, yeah, it's pickled, but that doesn't mean it doesn't mean what he's, he thinks it means. Woo! Woo! It doesn't make them sour. It just takes the edge off a little bit. I like this a lot. Those are hot, dude. So I definitely don't agree with the review here. But and there's double layers of pepperoni in it. The standard, like a hidden pepperoni. The expectation that Pizza Hut set in that press release? You start talking about things dancing on my mouth? You've lost me. So I'm gonna go up. But I mean, it's not a Pequot masterpiece. <laughs> I still don't know oh, yeah? how, how you use that word. Yeah. I don't like spicy stuff. I don't think I would ever order a spicy pizza. But are you a spicy lover though? Mm mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh oh yeah, I am. Oh yeah. I misunderstood the question. I'm a very spicy lover. But it was good. I, I have nothing to complain about. It delivered on the heat. Yeah. And it makes me wanna it makes me wanna make love. Let's just be real. Oh, okay. Well I think I, we I think that can be arranged, but I, not by me. I can't say that I love it. So I'm not I'm not going. I'm not gonna go all the way here. Have you ever it. had a conjugal visit with your wife here at Mythical? Um, it's gonna take a while to answer that. I'll save it for more. Okay. I think more has a different rating these days. Oh, okay. Hey, do you have your tickets to Mythicon? Cause we wanna see you there. It's Halloween weekend in Austin, Texas, and it's gonna be the most mythical thing that we have ever done. Yes, Mythicon is our first ever immersive weekend experience with us, the Mythical Kitchen, and a big old bunch of the Mythical crew. There's gonna be a carnival, a dance party. There's gonna be podcasts. There's gonna be stage performances. It's gonna be huge. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a, some stage performances. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yes. we are. It's October 28th through the 30th in Austin, Texas. We picked Austin because it's uh, centrally located for those in the US. And it's only for that one weekend only, so you don't wanna miss it. Uh, check out mythicontickets.com for ticket availability, to see the huge lineup of programming, all the special events, and some sneaky peekies of the goings on in Austin. Tickets are on sale now, including the Mega Beast Pass, which includes exclusive merch and more. Get over to mythicontickets.com now to check out ticket availability. Last up, we're gonna try Arby's new pecan chicken salad sandwich. Oh. Or pecan chicken it's salad pecan. sandwich. Pecan. Uh, it's, it comes out during the summertime s s sporadically. It's just been released again this May. Um, you know about this one? <laughs> no, I don't. Chicken salad sandwiches are not like something I'm always thinking about. I'm not Googling to. that, but uh, let's, see, let's see what the ad has to say to us. There is no pecan chicken salad sandwich quite like this one. Nope, this Arby's made to order masterpiece can't be topped, except very literally by honey wheat bread. Arby's, we have the meat. It's hard to really sell a chicken salad sandwich, isn't it? It's just like, I feel like they should have brought in another voiceover person for this one. Well, he's got the most epic voice. I do like that, but they're really, it's, it's called pecan, chicken salad, like that, it doesn't even say sandwich, you just see that it's in between two slices yeah, of bread. That's inferring. That made me think that, oh, Arby's sells a pecan chicken salad. Sandwich? No, and now they're just putting it on a sandwich. I didn't even think that, oh, this is a this is chicken salad. Chicken salad is not a chicken salad. It's, a, it's its own thing. You know what I'm trying to say? No. Well, what does the press release say, since we're so confused? I'm so confused. Um, Gives Americans a satisfying lunch. Okay. Puts a gourmet twist on plain chicken salad with the addition of pecans, apples, and grapes. Now listen. My, so it's just fancy chicken hey, salad. My my wife has made a chicken salad sandwich that has some grapes in it. And she, she yeah. didn't talk to Arby's before she did it. Yeah, it, it's been around for a while. And here's the kicker. It was called an Epicurean sandwich. That's another word, I don't know what it is. Well, the definition of Epicurean is, I'm pulling this right out of my head, uh, the cultivation of a refined taste, as in food, art, music, etc. connoisseurship. Oh, so we could be connoisseurs oh, if we're, we eat we're about this. to be, yeah. Oh, but right, well, let's balance it. I know I've only said positive things about this ad. <laughs> yeah. But let's see what a what an average Joe reviewer has to say about this. Well, not Joe, Candace. New pecan chicken sandwich is a joke, is the title. She put an H in sandwich where there's where not this, supposed to be. Was one. this review left on TripAdvisor? What, what, kind of, what kind of stars are these? Saw the commercial for the new pecan chicken salad sandwich and was excited to try it. Well, that's your first problem. She fell for it. 
Huge disappointment. First, the ratio of salad to bread is way off, okay? My sandwich consisted of one small spoonful of actual chicken salad in the middle. The chicken salad was, wasn't mostly made up of grapes and apples. I think she means it was mostly made up of grapes and apples. She said the opposite. Hardly any pecans and chicken at all. Yeah. Maybe if there was more chicken salad on the sandwich, it would have had more than just a bland taste. Almost $9 for a meal and very disappointed. Gave one star only because the fries were good. Oh, okay. Let's taste it for ourselves. Oh my gosh, look how big this knife is. They've given us a huge one to cut this thing in half. You gotta be more careful. I know you wanna take it. You, you, we, we've made it this far with nobody being injured yet, but you do realize that the way you irresponsibly handle a knife is going to, it's gonna come back to bite me <laughs> at some point. I, I can do it, I can do it. So the question is, having seen the commercial, will we buy it? No. Having read the review, will we buy it? <laughs> Even less. No. Yeah, yeah, I mean. So, but maybe it tastes good. Uh, but we should cut it in half, so. Um. Knife's gone. Where did that go? Nicole, did you take the knife? No, I didn't. First of all, thank you for taking it if you did take it. But could you bring me a knife so I can actually slice this? Uh, yeah, here you go. There you go. It's a different knife. I like a good chicken salad sandwich if I don't think it's just a salad in between bread. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> but what do you think I a chicken that's salad sandwich is? It's, I don't consider chicken salad, salad. A salad. It's not a salad. But what is this? I mean, this is. A little peek into Link's brain. It's a little chunky. You get one every once in a while. Mm. The. Epicurean. The mayo is very thin. I would almost call it watery. But if there was more mayo, we'd probably be complaining about there being too much mayo. Just so you know. Mine has enough chicken. I kinda like this. It has a real chunky pieces of celery in it and grapes. It's not bad at all. It needs some pepper. Our expectations were really lowered by everybody else's ad. I don't know who to agree with though because my expecta expectations were set low by the ad and the review. But let's just say the ad I guess the good. ad was a tr was trying to communicate that it was good. So, I'm going almost all the way to the end because the expectations that I bring to a chicken salad sandwich are so low. I'm feeling you, man. Because it's fresh. It's got pieces of stuff that makes you feel like, oh, this is, this is gonna this is gonna help with my lower GI. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I don't like it that much. Okay, well, don't get too excited. Not as much as you. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna do one of these. This is where I'm gonna leave it. So we're agreeing with the restaurant hype, and I think when all is said and done here, that makes the chicken salad sandwich the highest ranked position of anything that we tasted. We went higher than with the Pizza Hut. I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. It's all about expectations. Remember that when you're in a relationship. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hello, my name is Elias. I'm from Mexico City. This little guy is Latte, and we're about to taste, for the first time, a Popeye's chicken sandwich. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> Look like a puppet up there. He's so well behaved. Is that a puppet? How do you get a, such a well behaved <laughs> pet? I can't keep Barbara on my lap. Click the top lead to watch us guess the popular dining establishment from the scathing review. Good to the more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Tickets are on sale now, including the Mega Beast Pass, which includes exclusive merch and more.